Okay, okay. Alright. Hey guys, what's up? You may know, or you may not know, why I'm here and looking looking like I'm I'm praying for God for not doing this video. This is a video I always wanted to do. Wanted to do. <clears throat> and video is here now. I really don't want to do this, but I have no choice. This must be said. This video is my opinion. Alright, um, first off, Twilight sucks. Now, if you're a Twilight fan watching this video, and now you're sitting, you, you, you just heard that I said Twilight sucks, and you start typing a comment on my video saying, Twilight do not suck, it's a masterpiece. Okay, and then I'll ask her, answer her why. Well, because it's good, it's good books, and they transfer it to a good movie. Uh, good actors, good story, and fuck no. There's no good stories, no good actors, no good characters. Nothing is good about the movies. All of them suck. And the worst thing, the worst thing of all. Is that trying? It's trying to be a vampire movie, and a and a romantic movie. It's just all right. Let's just get for. Let's go first. Let's take the vampire first, okay? The vampires in Twilight are totally ruined. I mean, that's not vampires. Seriously. That that is not vampires. Vampires are blood sucking son of a bitches who just wanna suck all of your blood out and they they feed on blood. Vampires the Twilight vampires? That's not vampires. Okay, uh Edward, for example. He don't drink blood. Um, he gets shiny when he walks in the sun, and and he's he has a girlfriend for no apparent he has a girlfriend for no no apparent reason. All right, let's get first to. He's not. He's. He doesn't suck blood. Why does he not suck blood? Oh well, because it's bad, and if I suck blood, I've done a bad thing. Really? You've done a bad thing. You already are a bad thing. You're a vampire. Vampires are bad things. Really? Is it so bad? To drink blood? When you already are a vampire? Seriously? You know, if I were a vampire, you know, vampires need to have blood to survive. And he's like, well, I'm doing good without, without blood. I mean, come on. No vampires can survive without blood. Take, let the right one in, for example. The girl, she needs blood every day. You see, that's so good about the movie that when when it, when you know when you see uh, what she become when she don't get blood, you know uh, when she she doesn't drink blood, you know she gets pale and and skinny and you know she looks very you know she looks like she's almost near death, you know. 
but when she she gets the blood, she looks completely normal. That's a good thing. But here, this Edward guy, he 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 never drinks blood. So what does he drink or eat? I don't know. They don't explain it. Okay. Um. That's one thing that make him not a vampire. They could just call him. I don't know. Uh, a mashup between. A mashup between um, a teen and Frankenstein monster. Yeah, we say so. A Frankenstein monster that looks very normal. Yeah, I think we'll say that. Okay, the second is. Uh, when he. when the sun hit him. Um, he had crystal shiny all over his body. Um, no comment. Well, of course, that's the one thing that's very famous about vampires. That when the sun hits them, they die. They can't stand the sun. Vampires in twilight they shine crystal all over the body they they don't die they don't do anything they just shine crystal and for that reason they don't want to show themselves in, in front of people okay so if I shine crystal in the sun I wouldn't go out and meet people I wouldn't care if I shined crystal I wouldn't care go out in the city and meet people go in front of people I, w I wouldn't care but here these wussies they I mean come on is it really necessary to ruin such a great thing about vampires that they die when the sun hits them and instead they have to make them Shiny fuck farts? Yeah. You know, it's just ridiculous. Alright, I don't I don't want to talk about this more. Let's go to his pathetic <clears throat> his pathetic girlfriend. Okay, the romance between those two are one of the worst romance I've ever seen in a movie. I mean, that's not romance. That's just Talking, talking, and talking. Edward says, You're not safe with me. You have to go away. And she's like, I belong with you. Blah, blah, blah. And I want to be a vampire. And Edward says, No, it's too dangerous. Th that's all they talk about. That's all. I mean, can they say like, you know, normal conference, confrontation, com <clears throat> sorry, can I just have norm like, real life, in real life, you know, I never had a girlfriend, of course, but, I know that I don't, if I would get a girlfriend, I would never sitting and talk about it, like, it's too dangerous to be with me, you have to go away, I mean, and, First thing, what's so dangerous with his, with this guy? I mean, he's sort of a vampire, but he don't drink blood, and he don't explode guts and blood when the sun hit him, so what's so dangerous about him? I just don't get it. <clears throat> now, of course, people say, when critics like me criticize the movies they say well go read the books because they're good well I never really read the books but I've heard a lot of them and I can't see in front of me that 
that the director who made the first Twilight just changed the whole book. Because the book is probably just the same as the fucking movies. The same rule about the vampires, the same shitty romance. The actors in the movie. The actors are horrible. The good ones are the ones that almost never show up in a movie. Like, I gotta be honest, I did like the father to uh, Bella. He wasn't that bad. I liked seeing him. But unfortunately, he was just in two, three... He just appeared three to four times in the movie, and that was like ten seconds, you know? It's like, they never talk to each other or anything. He's, he just appears there, and that's it. He was just... He had nothing to do with there, but he was just there. You know? <laughs> it's just so stupid, you know? They, they don't explain anything. Like, her father, he's just in the house, watching TV. He goes hunting, and... And... That's it, they almost never talk. I mean... <sighs> and the characters are so boring, so uninteresting, that the first Twilight was just bad. It was bad. And the second one is even worse than the first one. The second one is the one of the most boringest movies ever. It's just Edward leaving Bella. Bella, she gets upset. And one thing that really upset me is that he's just her boyfriend right and he just leaves her for no apparent reason and she can't sleep at night she's yelling at night and she, like she had some psychotic uh, issues you know I mean it's just a boyfriend leaving her does she need, really need to not sleep and get psychotic in the head and all of that? Really? Is that how people react, react nowadays? Really? And, and, and like she, she's sitting in her room looking outside the window all day long. That's all she does. I mean, it's just a boyfriend, really? If I would lose my girlfriend, I wouldn't just, I, I could never sleep. I, 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 w I should, I would sit in a room uh, looking outside the window. Is that how people react when they lose their loved ones? Is that how they react nowadays? I don't know, but I can't see in front of me that people does that. And it's trying, the movie is trying to be emotional. Well, the characters are boring, the actors are terrible. How can you get emotion? And when it's so unrealistic, trying to be realistic, but it's so unrealistic, it's just... Alright. I'm gonna end this video, and I hope you check out part two. Alright, check it out. I have much to say about it.